Hello and welcome to this video on the Python programming language. So in this video I will show you how to create a simple game called the number guessing game. So let's talk about how the game works. The game is a two-player game. The first player thinks of a random number, a random integer within a known range and the second player tries to guess what that first player's number was. If the guess is incorrect then the first player tells the second player whether the guess was too high or too low. And this game has been used a lot within computer science to showcase a popular searching algorithm called binary search, which I will use in this video to guess the random number within a limited amount of turns. Now, before we begin, if you like the videos on this channel, then be sure to click that subscribe and like button. And to be notified about new videos from this channel, hit that bell notification. So I'm currently on Google's website. It's called colab.research.google.com and I'm on it because it makes it really easy to start programming in Python. So all you have to do is go to this website and then log in using your Google account and get started writing your Python code. So to get started writing this code, go ahead and click on file, then click on new notebook and a new tab open up for you and then eventually a new cell. And in this cell, I'm gonna put in some comments. So I'm gonna put in a description about the program so this way I could just look back at this description and know what the program is about or what it's supposed to do. So I'm just going to type here number guessing game. And next I want to create a new cell by clicking this code button in the top left. And in this cell I'm going to import the libraries that I plan on using throughout the program. So I'm going to import math and I'm going to import random. Okay, so next I'm going to run this cell by clicking this button here to the left and this will let me know if I made any mistakes. Okay, so it looks like I'm good. I'm going to create a new cell and I'm going to just type a simple print statement in this cell. So I'm going to put welcome to the number guessing game! Exclamation point. Alright, and this needs to be in quotes. So I'm just going to highlight it and put quotes here. And let's run this. And there we go. Welcome to the number guessing game. All right, so this will be the start of our game. And the idea here will be for the player to guess a number within a specific range. So I'm going to choose the range to be from 0 to 100. And with that, I need to create a randomly generated number from 0 to 100 to simulate the first player's guess. Okay, so I'm going to create a variable called rand underscore num. And I'm going to set this equal to random dot rand int and then I'm going to input 0 and 100 and just to make sure that this is working like we expect it to I'm going to type rand underscore num just to see what it's printing out or what it's getting from this randomly generated number so let's go ahead and run this and let's run it again so we can see the random numbers here from 0 to 100. All right, so now we have our random numbers from 0 to 100. I'm just going to get rid of that statement there and I'm going to exit this and I'm going to run this one more time so I don't know what that number is. All right, so I'm going to create a new cell and now in this cell I'm going to talk a little bit about this equation that I'm going to use to figure out the number of turns to give the player for guessing this randomly generated number. So it has been mathematically proven that a person can guess the number within a certain amount of turns without the player guessing every single number within a given range. So for example, with 0 to 100, I don't actually have to guess 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, all the way up to possibly 100 to figure out what the number is. The actual number of turns that I need is or are 7 only need seven turns okay so this is a or there is a nice formula for us to use to figure out that maximum number of turns and I'm gonna put it here and actually I'll tell you first and then I will write it here so the maximum number of turns will be equal to log base 2 of the range plus 1 rounded up to the nearest integer alright so let's go ahead and create a variable called max underscore I could call it turns, but I'm going to put guesses here. And I'm going to set this equal to math.log 
and I'm going to take the log of 100 minus 0. So this is the the upper integer number minus the lower integer number plus 1. And I want this to be base 2. So I'm going to put comma 2 here. And then I want to round this up to the nearest integer. So I'm just going to put all of this in round. Okay. And let's take a look at the max guesses. So let's run this. And we can see that the maximum number of guesses or the maximum number of turns needed will be 7. Okay. So I'm going to just exit this. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and print that actually. So let's just print the or let's print you have yeah, I put you have max underscore guesses chances to guess the number correctly. Okay? And I put a period, so let's go ahead and run this. So now this will tell the player that they have seven chances to guess the number correctly. And I make this a capital Y. And run this again. Okay. So let's create a new cell. And now in this cell, I'm going to create a variable to count the number of guesses. So I'm going to call this count and I'm going to set it equal to zero. Okay. And then I'm going to create a loop to play the game. So here I'm going to create a loop to play the game. I'm going to make it a while loop for now. So I'm just going to say while true, I'm going to first increment count. I'm going to increment count by one. So I'm just going to set count equal to count plus one. And then I'm going to check if count is more than the number of turns given. And if it is, then I'm going to exit the loop which means that I'm exiting the game. All right, so if count is greater than max guesses, I'm going to print you, you have exceeded the number of guesses. And I'll put a period. And then I will print the number was or the I put the randomly generated number was and then we'll put ran underscore num okay and then I'm going to break out of the loop all right but if they didn't go past the maximum number of guesses then we need to actually play the game so let's get the players input and again, this, is, this, this will keep looping, so we'll always do this check here within the loop just to keep seeing if they ever exceed that maximum number of guesses. All right, so we're going to get the player's guess. So I'm going to create a variable called player underscore guess, and I'm going to set it equal to some input. And the input will ask the player to please guess a number between or I put from 0 to 100 and I want this to be an integer so I'm gonna cast it as a int okay so now we have the players guess so the players gonna input some number they're gonna say I think your number is 5 right so then we need to check to see if that random number is indeed 5 if it's not then we need to check if it's greater than or if that if the if the user's guess is greater than or lower than the random number okay so first I'm going to check to see if the player got it right so if player underscore guess equals the randomly generated number then I'm going to print you guess the number correctly and in count turns and I'm going to put the S in parentheses because it could be one or more all right and then I'm going to break out the loop when they guess it correctly because you're finished with the game they won all right else if the player guess 
is less than the randomly generated number. Then I'm going to print the number is higher. Else if the player's guess is greater than rand underscore number, I'm going to print the number is lower. And else, I'm just going to print something with the code is wrong if it goes to that statement. All right, so that so that right there is just for me, the coder. And I think that's it. So let's run this and let's play the game. Okay, so I'm going to run this. Please guess a number from 0 to 100. I'm going to guess 5. The number is higher. I'm going to guess 6. The number is higher. I'm going to guess 7. It's higher. 8, 9, 10. All right, let's go with 100. The number is lower than 100. You have exceeded the number of guesses. The randomly generated number was 33. All right, so let's see how many guesses we had. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, just like we thought. And I didn't win. Okay, so let me go ahead and show you all binary search. So let's play this again. And I'm going to show you how you can always win this within that number of turns, the 7 in this case, but within log base 2 of the range plus 1 rounded up turns. All right, so I'm going to start with 50. And so now this tells me that the number is lower, so I've already eliminated 50 other integer values. So now the number is between 0 and 49. So I'm going to put in 25. Okay, so the number is higher than 25. So I got rid of the numbers 0 to 24. And now I have 25, I'm sorry, I have 26 to 49. Okay, so 26 plus 49 is, let's see, 75. Right, and if I divide that by two, I get approximately 37.5. So I'm just going to round that up, and I'm going to put in 38 here. That's about halfway. So the number is lower than 38, but it's higher than 25. So I'm going to do, uh, let's just do 25 plus 37. Uh, that should give us about halfway, right? So that would be 62 divided by two is 31. So I'm going to put in 31 here. Okay, so the number is higher than 31. So now I know that it's either 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, or 37. All right, so let's see. We have, uh, we're going to do 37 plus 31, which gives me 68. I'm going to divide that by 2. It gives me about 34. So I'm going to input 34 here, and the number is lower than 34. So it's either 32 or it's 33. So I'm just going to put in 32. All right, so it's 33 because the number is higher. Okay, so I guess the number correctly within seven turns using binary search. And I hope you all really enjoyed this program. I hope you enjoyed this game, and I hope you got some some value from watching this video. Uh, please leave any questions you have in the comment section. Thanks for watching the video and a special thanks to the Patreon supporters on the Patreon.com. Uh, if you would like to become a supporter of this channel, I will leave a link in the description below. Thanks again for watching and I hope you all have a great day. See you in the next video.